Welcome back to another video style crew. If you're new here, I am Rio. In today's video, as you can see, I picked up some new jewelry. As some of you may know, I usually keep my jewelry pieces very minimal. I'm really not into the flashy look at me type thing, but sometimes jewelry can be used to help elevate an outfit. I've done a video in the past of all of my chains. It's a couple years old, but I'll link it right up here. So if you wanna check it out, you can. And in this pickup video, I have a necklace, which is around my neck, two rings and a watch. I wear watches all the time. As I mentioned quite a few times, I have a decent watch selection, collection both. I have a selection and a collection of watches. I usually gravitate towards my Apple watch, but when I want to utilize a watch as an accessory to the outfit, I have watches for specifically that reason. I don't want to make this video too long, so I'm just going to hop into the pieces that I have here. And first up, we're going to be talking about the watch. It's currently on my wrist. This is a Seiko, Seiko SGF204 to be exact. It's a two-tone watch in silver and in gold. That's one of my favorites, especially when it comes to like a, a stainless steel watch. That's probably one of my favorites. I've had gold watches in the past. And for some reason, I just, I just I've kind of grown out of the gold, all gold jewelry, especially for like rings and um, watches. I still have some of my old, old, old gold rings and I still have some of my older gold watches. As I've gotten a little bit older, I've liked the two-tone colors a little bit better. All silver jewelry is, is personally not for me. I know there's theories out there that gold and silver can complement skin colors a little bit better. I really haven't figured out which one is for me. So I've been digging the combination of both and I like that a lot better. Before doing this video, I looked up the current price of this watch and right now it's going for about two, between 200 to 300. I got mine back in March, right around the time that I moved, and I paid only about 150 for it. If you saw my office unboxing, I actually had the box of this watch and with the rest of the stuff I had to open, but it wasn't part of that video. This actually is not part of this. I picked up this watch. It's not part of that. I've worn it quite a few times since having it. A lot of you guys have kind of asked about it. And yeah, you know, it's just a two-tone Seiko. My dream watch is, I think, a Rolex Datejust which is also two-tone. It'd be amazing to have a watch like that. Maybe one of these days, but the uh, the pockets, they're not there yet. What I like most about this watch is just the simplicity and it is very minimal and it's also very clean. It works with so many different things. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's small in its face. I think it's a 36 millimeter face. It's fairly small on the wrist, but that's what I like about it. This particular one has a silver dial. I think there is one out there that has a gold dial, but I like the silver because it was a little more played down. Next up, I have the necklace, which is around my neck. I got this necklace from a website I'd never heard of before called The Gasper. I believe they're based out of the UK. Never heard of this website before. I came across it and I don't, I don't know if it was an Instagram ad, and I feel like it was Instagram ad, I'm not entirely sure. But I came across a website, they had a 50% off sale, which from the looks of it now, I can see that the sale is almost always going on. I saw a couple things that I wanted to get. One was this particular necklace. Now on their website, they call it the Bean Necklace or the Bean Chain. And it's also known as Gucci Link. Of course, if you see my necklace slash chain video, you would know that I have a couple Gucci links already. And it's also known as a Puff Marina. The reason why I got this particular chain is because I wanted one just like it, which would have been a solid gold, which probably would have costed maybe about 700, 800 bucks. And I've wanted that for a long time. And the reason why I wanted that chain is because I actually had pretty much that same exact chain when I was like, I don't know, like 11 or 12. My dad had bought my twin and I, each of us one of those chains when we were, you know, fairly young. Then over the years, I have no clue what happened to it, but it was pretty much this exact size. I wanted to get it again in solid gold. And when I came across on this website, it was pretty much the same exact thing. 24 millimeters in length, seven millimeters in its width. And I was like, for 50 bucks, I'm gonna just grab it and see how I feel about it because over the years I've stopped wearing chains as big. So it didn't make sense to go spend all of that money on something that I probably was gonna hardly wear. So I got this one just to kind of see how I felt with it. Surprisingly, this thing is, is great. The quality is great for the price point that it is. It's supposed to be a hundred bucks, but it's 50 because it seems like they always have that 50% off. What I learned about the Gasper is that they make really, really high quality jewelry. And of course they're making it affordable. Don't worry, don't worry, this video isn't sponsored. I already bought this myself. They probably don't even know I exist, but I bought it and I like it. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. What they provide is the highest grade of stainless steel, PVD vacuum coating, which is the highest level of coating better than plating. 
I had no clue there was even a difference. So there's gold plated and then there's vacuum coating. Vacuum coating is what you want because that lasts much, much, much longer. On their website, it says that it won't fade or change colors and it won't give rashes or cause skin irritation, which is amazing. I haven't really worn this one out yet. I bought it, I think in like July or something, but when I bought it, I didn't realize that they were located in the UK. So I didn't expect for it to take as long as it did to get here. It took a little bit over a month due to COVID and everything. It took longer than it probably normally would have. So I haven't had a chance to really, you know, go out and wear it, but I have high expectations of it. And if this holds up the way that they say it will, I won't really need to spend 800, 900 bucks on, on the solid gold version. I just feel like a doofus would sit in front of this camera with this out. So I'm just going to put it back in. Like I said, I use jewelry as an accessory to help elevate certain looks. But sometimes with some necklaces and chains, I don't always wear it out over the shirt. I actually tuck it, but you can still see the gold around my neck. That's a very clean way to understate the whole presence of jewelry. So you can still see it, but not all of it. The second item I picked up from the Gasper was this ring right here. This is called their artery ring, another silver and gold combo. I think when it comes to like rings and stuff from now on, I'm gonna find, try to find those two tone colors because I just really love the look of those a little bit more than all gold or all silver. It has the same exact coating done on it as the necklace. So again, it's designed to last for a very long time. Now I actually did give this ring and this ring some test runs. I'm gonna get to this one here in a minute, but I've given them both some test runs. I was in New York not too long ago, wearing these rings around the city, all day walking and sweating, hand sanitizer, all of that stuff. And they both look amazing still. They both look great, they both feel great. No um, chipping, no corrosion, nothing whatsoever. I'll link them down below in the description. Again, it's not sponsored. I just bought it myself, I like them. So again, I'm sharing them with you. And the last ring I picked up, this brand of course is very popular. You may, you guys may know about the Gasper, I just didn't. But Serge Denim is where I got this last ring. And this is a very popular jewelry company. This one is called the Silver Two-Tone Rio Ring. You heard me correctly, the Rio Ring. Rio, R-I-O. That's me, that's me. So that's why I, I bought this. It's kind of lame, it's kind of corny. I saw my name, I saw two-tone gold, silver, and I saw black and I was like, done, I'm getting it. And this one was 70 bucks. There's a lot of people who spend a lot of money on rings. I'm just not really that guy because I don't really wear rings as often, but I'm gonna start working them more into um, my accessories because I do like the look of rings and all my old ones are like, you know, they don't really fit me as well as, you know, these newer ones I'm buying. And for me, I like to keep my rings very minimal. I don't want these big brolic rings that, you know, some guys wear because it's, you know, it's, it's, it's their style. For me, I don't want it to be too, too small, but right there in the middle, which I think these fit that perfectly. The rear ring is 925 sterling silver. It has a black enamel face with a 14 karat gold plating right there on the face. Online, they kind of tell you what the symbol is all about and give you a whole story of what the Rio represents and why they call it the Rio ring. And I'm not gonna get into all that. I didn't care. I just got it because my name was on it. I would like to get some more two-tone rings. So if you guys know some places, let me know down below in the comments. So as you can see, I got this artery ring on my ring finger and I got the rear ring on my index pointer finger, index pointer, it's called the same thing. This one looks like a wedding band, that wasn't intentional. I just didn't wanna have the rings right next to each other. I wanted to have spaces between, but I mostly wanted this one on the pointer finger. I think it looks cool. I like um, index finger rings. And that's why I got this one, cause I wanted a space between. But that was my logic and thinking of why I got the rings for those fingers. This hand is bare, I need some rings on this one. But you kinda wanna keep the rings understated, you don't wanna do too, too much. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Let me know some other places to get some two-tone rings down below. Quality, quality like these, but also affordable because these were very affordable and pretty good quality. Thanks for watching. Lots of videos on the way. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content. Click the bell, set it to all. So you're gonna be notified every single time I upload a video. Follow me over on my IG. I've been uploading there more lately as well. But yeah, that's all I have. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.